Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tess Lark and today I wanted to do some experimenting with resin and alcohol ink. pretty interested in this project for a while. I've seen a lot of um, these petri dish sort of coasters, wine, and I really wanted to try it for myself. I use resin pretty frequently making jewelry, um, but I haven't really made larger pieces, which is something that I've been interested in. So I went ahead and I ordered myself some alcohol ink and I thought, let's film it and we can all kind of hang out together and see how it goes. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm here for you every week. I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to do like a Maker Monday. So every Monday we'll do some sort of DIY arts and craft or um, an experiment like this. Um, I, I don't know. I think that could be really fun. And Wednesdays I'll upload either a beauty DIY, a beauty review, small space gardening, a recipe, something like that. I don't know, let me know if you think that sounds good to you. I'm really liking these more frequent uh, updates. I'm liking being more active here and kind of getting to know you guys a little bit better. Um, yeah, so if Maker Monday sounds like a thing that we want to do, let me know in the comments and let me know by giving this video a like. And let's go ahead and jump right into this project. Okay, so like I said, I went ahead and ordered myself some alcohol ink. I had kind of been experimenting with alcohol ink and yuppo paper for a little bit, and it's really fun. And then I saw um, alcohol ink being used in this capacity, but I, um, after watching a lot of other people make their own art, watching tutorials on YouTube about how to do it, it looks like the white alcohol ink is very important and I didn't have white alcohol ink specifically. So I went ahead and ordered this kit that actually comes with 18 different colors. Um, is it 18? Yeah, 18 pieces. And I ordered this off of Amazon. So I'll go ahead and if I do end up liking this ink, I will link it below so you guys um, can try it for yourself. It looks like a really good beginner set of inks. 18 colors, which is a lot, and there's two different types of white. So, um, yeah. The other thing that we're going to need for this experiment is some sort of mold. And so I just got these, the silicone mold, again, from Amazon, which I will link below. Um, it's a little bit deeper than I was expecting, but I don't, so I don't know if I'm going to pour them all the way full because... Like I said, typically when I use resin, I'm using it for jewelry. So I don't have like a gallon of resin lying around. I have my little trusty Art & Glow um, casting coating and epoxy resin. It's a great resin. I think that if I do move to this like larger format, which I might, like it's fun to experiment with new things every now and then, right? I'll probably end up buying larger quantities. Um, and I'm not sure if Art & Glow comes in a larger quantity yet. I might experiment with a different brand, but for the sake of this video, this is what I'm using. This is what I like. Um, and yeah, so again, link is in the description. Then I also got these little silicone measuring cups. And the thought with this is that instead of like a plastic measuring cup that you can only use once, with this one, I should be able to let the resin cure completely in here and then kind of clean it out and be able to use it again and again and again. So, excited about this. I will also link these. And then I've got popsicle sticks to mix my resin. I've also got gloves because you really don't want to get the resin on your skin. It's not good at all. Uh, gloves are very important. And I also have some wax paper. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna use. I'll probably put some down at least underneath my mixing cup. Um, whenever I work with resin, I usually use wax paper just because I don't want it on my desk. So, yes. All right, are you excited? Because I'm excited. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut just right down the middle. I'm either gonna make two or three coasters because I wanna try a couple different colors. But again, like I said, I don't have a ton of resin and I do need it for work. So we'll see how far we get. This is a lot to have on my desk taking up space. 
for 24 hours, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Now I'm just gonna grab a paper towel so I can kind of wipe down the insides and make sure there's no dust or anything like that in there. And then next up, I'm just gonna choose the colors that I want to use. I think I'm just gonna probably use like two or three colors in each one. Okay. Yeah, and so I, I opened this kit up last night and kind of took, they were all like wrapped individually, so I took those all out. I'm kind of interested, I like, I wanna almost get a piece of yellow paper to see the different, because it has like, there's like a peach red and then a red, um, so it'd be nice to see what those colors are like, but that will come with experience, I guess. So here's a sapphire blue, and then I've got blue. Do I have yellow paper? Let me check. Okay, I'm out of yellow paper, but I did find this watercolor paper. So let's see, um, let's just kind of, I wanna see some of these colors so I can choose which ones to use in my Petri dishes. The set also came with these little thumbtacks which I'm gonna use to just puncture the top of these because they're sealed. So here is Sapphire Blue. Here is Sapphire Blue by Let's Resin. Okay. Blue. Let's try the regular blue. The sapphire is pretty dark. It's like a navy. I think I'm gonna like this regular blue more. Oh, and I'm already getting it on my fingers. Oh yeah, okay. Should have my gloves on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my gloves on. Okay, so that's the sapphire blue here. And then this is just the regular blue. I think I'm just gonna go with the regular blue. I prefer it. And then dark magenta. Let's see what's up with you. Okay. Pretty dark. I don't know if you can really see the tone. It's almost like the color of my hair, honestly. I like it, but I'm gonna see if there is a brighter Magenta. Okay, and then there's also, so like I said, there's two types of white. It says that the deeper white is to push pigments through um, thicker pieces. So maybe we'll do one with the deeper white and one with the regular white and see what happens. I'm going to use my clean thumbtack to open these guys. I've got blue and white that I want to use definitely. Maybe the dark magenta. I want to see if I've got a brighter pink, honestly. Okay, and then here's cerulean. So let's see the difference between the cerulean and the other blues. Ooh, okay. So it's a little bit more green. It's nice. So I th this one I might use I want to do one that's like blues and greens, one that's like magenta and orange. Yes, let's see the turquoise. It's nice. To me, it's a little bit more green than the cerulean. But again, this isn't really the, the paper that it's meant for, the way really that these inks are meant to be used. So we're just kind of getting a rough, rough idea. Um, turquoise, I like you, but I like the cerulean more, but maybe we'll do, they're very close. Cerulean, turquoise, maybe, yeah, maybe turquoise and cerulean in one, we'll see. Okay, let's, let's check out this peach red. I'm into it. Very bright, bold pink. I think we will definitely use this one. Orange, let's see the orange. Really hoping for like a yellow too. I know there's yellow in here, but no. Just saying. 
paint orange. Ooh, it's kind of like a burnt orangey color, but again, kind of um, hard to say what it's going to be like in the resin. Did I mention it's in the middle of a heat wave? I've got the fans off, so it's not too loud for you guys, but it is hot, hot. And then I think I see yellow. Yep, lemon yellow. So is there two yellows? Yeah, there's ye yellow and lemon yellow. So let's open the yellow first. Okay. Yellow. It's nice, very pigmented. Put this in here. And then let's look at the lemon, the lemon yellow. When I'm opening these all, I'm kind of using one pin for the warmer colors, like the pinks and yellows, and the other pin for the cooler colors, like the greens and the blues. Lemon yellow, coming up. Ew. Very lemony. Okay, so yellow or lemon yellow? I think we're going to go with the lemon yellow. Switch you out, my friend. I have the colors that I want. There's still more to look through. Like there's a purple. Ooh, I do love purple. Um, there's just a plain, like a straightforward red. There's another yellow. Oh no, <laughs> it's the yellow I just put back in. Purplish red. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's try that one too. Ooh, I like it. It's kind of like a dark burgundy color, I would say. It's nice. I don't think I'm going to use it today, but I will definitely use it someday. So, put all these guys back in here. Hope they're closed. Sapphire blue. Oh, there's black. Dark magenta. Okay, so let's see. And then we'll put our pins back in here. Move these out of the way. And so I'm thinking that for one of them, I want to do pink, yellow, and orange. For another one, I want to do pink, yellow, and blue. And then for the last one, blue and turquoise and cerulean. Or blue, turquoise, and pink. Let's see how far we get. All right, so next we are gonna mix our resin. You wanna make sure you do this in a place that is well ventilated. Resin does give off fumes. Um, I might invest in a respirator or borrow my boyfriend's. He's a spray painter. Um, might borrow his if I start kind of doing this sort of work more. I feel like for me, I use so little of it that it's not super necessary, um, but for larger pieces, yeah, you might want to look into like the safety safety aspects of working with resin for sure. There's tons of videos on YouTube talking about resin and safety. So my resin that I'm using is a one-to-one -one ratio, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way up to the hundred or the what is this? Yeah, hundred milliliters. Um, I'm kind of feeling like I might need one full of one of these for each coaster, um, but I'm just gonna go one at a time and see. Experiment day. And then we go to 100. Might only have enough resin to do two of these. I'm gonna mix this for three to four minutes or until there's no striations in the resin. And when I'm doing this, I'm making sure to scrape the sides of the cup and the bottom. Let's put wax paper down, I'm scared. All right, and so our resin is all mixed up, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it into the first mold. Right. 
All right, and now we're gonna add the ink. Let's start using the, the regular white first before we go with the deeper white. So it's just the regular white. First, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the white. And I'm gonna swirl that around a little bit with this guy. It's a technique that I've seen on Instagram from a girl named Serendipity Pores, and her stuff is really beautiful. So I'm gonna try it like that. Next, I'm gonna go with blue. And it seems like the trick is that everywhere you put pigmented color, you then want to go in with a drop of white over the top of it. So I've got my blue. And then here, let's do some yellow. And then last but not least, I want to do some pink. And again with the white. And I'm just going to repeat this process um, three to four times. And so it looks like I'm only gonna have enough resin to do two of these coasters, um, because like I said, I do use it for work and I don't wanna use all of my resin on this project. Um, but if they turn out cool, I think I'm gonna order a bigger thing and maybe work on some like home decor pieces. I don't know. If, that would be, if you think that would be cool, let me know in the comments. Um, there's just so many things that you can do with resin that I'm, um, you know, I'm really kind of excited to be branching out and trying something new. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix my resin for my second piece, and then I will be right back to show you how I layer those into the, the mold. All right, so I've got my resin all mixed up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it into this next mold here. And I decided that for this one, I wanna use pink, orange and yellow and again i'm going to start with white um just because this is the way an artist that i love online does it serendipity pours on instagram if you ever see this i love your stuff um and just kind of move this around it's kind of a lot of white i hope it's not too much but we'll see and then i'm going to start with my pink And then I'll do some yellow in here. And then some orange. Kind of doing a different technique in a way. I'm not putting the white right away on the drops. I don't know. Maybe the next time we will. So again, right over where you put your pigment. The white alcohol ink is what makes the colors kind of drop to the bottom. So again, pink. Boop, 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 boop. And this time we'll do the right white right away. lemon yellow and then the white over the yellow and then some more orange oh it was a big squirt 
I love the way that this is like moving inside the dish. It's really kind of satisfying and relaxing. I think that's two. Let's do one more. You know, with this one, maybe let's go four. Let's see. Pink, 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 pink. If you love the way this looks while it moves as much as I do, let me know in the comments. I don't know if I'm just a weirdo. Look at that though. Oh, I can't wait to see what these look like. I hope they turn out okay. Such a cool effect if you've never seen these before. I really love them. And some more white on this guy. Do, do, do. A little bit of white. All right. So now we're at the hardest part of this project, which is waiting. <laughs> so the resin I'm using takes 24 hours to cure completely. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and leave these alone, resist the urge to touch them at all until probably tomorrow morning. To be honest, I don't know if I'll wait a complete 24 hours. We'll just give it a little test and see how they are um, in the morning. But yeah, so I will see you later and we'll pop these out of their mold and see how they turned out. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to give it a like so YouTube knows you like it too. And make sure you're subscribed so you can see when my new videos come out and we can craft some more together. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and our um, coasters are completely set up. I went ahead and like kind of gave them a little tap just to check. I'm really excited to see how these turned out and a little bit nervous. So let's just go ahead and pop them out of their molds. So the backs look really cool, which I'm really excited about, but let's pop them out and see what they look like. Okay. All right. Okay, so there's the side there. There's the front. And so I got a little bit of the effect that I was hoping to get where it looks like the resin or it looks like the ink is kind of like dripping down through the resin, but honestly not as much as I was really hoping for. So I'm kind of hoping that the second one has more of that effect, but the colors are really vibrant. I think it's really pretty. I actually really prefer the, um, the back of it more. I don't know. I think it's, it's really cool, but let's try this one. Okay, and again, the same thing. So it's, the colors look really neat. That's the bottom. And then this is what the top turned out looking like. See the sides. So again, like this is kind of what I was talking about where it looks like the ink is kind of pushing through. Um, but again, it most of it is just sat at the, at the top, which is technically the bottom. So, you know, I'm actually going to call this one a bit of a fail um, just because it didn't really quite do what I was hoping it would, but I'm actually really happy with how these turned out. I think the colors are really nice um, and I'm really excited to try this project again. Long video, I know. If you don't want me to show you my fails in the future, let me know in the comments, but um, personally, I think this was kind of fun. I definitely think that I've learned, um, you know, a couple different things. Like I think the next time I try it, I'm going to definitely make sure I mix up the white, the white in the, sh Ooh, sorry, I'm gonna make sure I mix up the white in the shaker really well before dropping it on there, just to make sure all the pigment is together. Um, overall, super fun, and I will definitely be doing this again. And if you want to see a video about me trying this again in the future or finished product in the future, let me know. Um, this was really fun for me. I hope it was fun for you too. And I will see you next week 
or on Wednesday if you're interested in beauty, gardening, and things like that. So yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.